That brings us to the last segment of the podcast, Alex. The last segment of every episode of the Old Men Magic podcast in 2023 has been the Old Men Magic Commander Corner. We might keep this segment for a long time. It might just evolve into other things. Like it doesn't have to be right now. We're, we're using the Old Men Magic Commander Corner to build our first ever commander decks. But, you know, once we build the decks, we could just use this time to talk about general commander happenings or things True. we're learning about the world of commander. True. Anyways, the Old Man Magic Commander Corner. This is the segment where we can we where we where we build our first ever commander decks. They are old frame only. My deck is named the Pump. My commander is Jacques Lavert. He gives all my green creatures plus zero plus two. You may ask how many green creatures I have. A lot. Oh, all of them. I'm adding more. All of my creatures are green creatures. So they can all benefit from Jacques Lavert. They can all benefit from Keza, who gives all green creatures I control, plus one, plus one. I'll be pumping creatures with other cards in this deck as well. I can pump things with Bioli Wolves. I can pump creatures with Giant Growth and Invigorate. I can make them go berserk with Berserk. I can pump them with Power Matrix. I can pump them with Morari's Wake, Fires of Yavamaya. I can pump them with Rancor. I can pump select one ones. With Pendohaven, they become two threes. What are you putting in this week, Steve? In addition to the pump theme, <laughs> Alex, I have a go wide theme where I'm generating tokens. Uh, I have Deranged Hermit to generate tokens. I have Rit the Awakener. If he gets through, I generate tokens. I have Saber Ants. I can ping my Saber Ants to generate tokens. I have Sapling Symbiosis to generate tokens. I have spontaneous generation to generate tokens. I can blast your artifacts or enchantments off the board with aura mutation or or mutation. Sorry, artifact mutation or or mutation, both of which will not only blast your artifacts or enchantments off the board, they will also generate tokens. I have a granddaddy token generator to add today. Uh Oh. A legendary token generator. This might be the OG token generator. Hayes is on Tamar, Alex. Hazes on Tamar is four colorless, one white, one green, one red, summon legend. On your next upkeep, after Hazes on is put into play, put star sand token warriors into play, where star is the number of lands under your control. Treat the warriors as one, one, white, green, and red creatures. So they're green, so they can also be pumped by Jacques Lavert. They will also be as, pumped by Hazes. As Hazes on is as well. As Hazes on is as well. If Hazes on leaves play, all sand warrior tokens are also removed from the game. I got to see if there's any more token generators out there that I could potentially add to my deck. It's getting full. I probably only have like 10, 15, maybe 15 more spots left. And there's just some basic stuff that I still need to add. Yeah. Uh, Last night, as I was falling asleep, I had this idea with the Awakener, or I heard somebody say something. I was like, oh, I should do that with the Awakener. I've now forgotten what that is, but maybe next week I will add the thing that I was going to add to combo with with the Awakener. Okay. Ah, I just thought of it. Oh, I'm going to add it right now. All right. Alex, this card will also pump Armadillo Cloak. Armadillo Cloak is an enchantment. I love Armadillo Cloak. One colorless, one green, one white. Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two. Love it. And trample. Whenever enchanted creature deals damage, you gain that much life. So basically, I just want to be able to trample with Rith. I know he has flying. But if they have flyers to block, I want to be able to trample with them so I can do damage. So I can pay that two colors in green so I can generate those green sapling tokens. Yeah, there you go. Those are my additions for the week, Alex. Hazes on Tamar and Armadillo Cloak. The only other card that I would really love for this deck is maybe a Eureka. <laughs> not, <laughs> not even because it would like make this deck like necessarily better in any way. Eureka is just fucking fun. And I always imagine it being like even more fun in a commander game. Everybody just gets to drop all their shit. Oh, yeah. I was staring at a Eureka the other day at work. I mean, not at work, too, at that LGS. And work just gave me a bonus, but it's not a very good bonus. And also, I fucking hate my job. So I should probably just save that bonus. <laughs> <laughs> For when I walk out the door, I'll be able to buy groceries for a couple extra months. I could also just take it to purchase dividend paying stocks to generate cash flow instead of just purchasing cardboard. Yes, you may say the cardboard will 
potentially rise in price over time, potentially, but it doesn't generate cash flow. I don't get any of that extra money until I wait for years and it actually appreciates in price. I can benefit from the price appreciation, but only after I sell it. And I don't want to sell my cardboard anymore, Alex. I want to keep this cardboard. I, I want to die with the cardboard. Did you find the elf yet? I found the elf and I okay. found a bonus elf for you. I found okay. two one one trampling elves. First is Defiant Elf from <laughs> Legions. Tramplers, you know, small tramplers are good in the pump. He's going to get pumped. People yeah. are like, who cares? Who even cares? You just played yeah. a one one trampler. Who cares? Yeah. Turn six, he's going to be pumped. Then they're going to be, then they're going to care. Next one. Lanawar Elite. Is this like a four mana? No, he's still one. one he's still one. A one drop, okay. but he has a kicker. He's a big fat old kicker on him. Oh, Jesus! Eight mana. Yeah, but you. Won't, I mean, you don't need that. He's still just a one one trade. Yeah, he's still just a one one. Uh, kicker eight colorless. You may pay an additional eight colorless as you play the spell trample. If you paid the kicker cost, Lanawar Elf comes in. Lanawar Elite comes into play with five plus one plus one counters on. It. Okay. So you could pay him, you could pay nine mana, and he'll be a six six trampler. Not great. Nah. But I mean, I guess he's not bad for just a one one trampler. One, yeah, and if you trampler. want more than one of the defiant elf and you can't do it in commander, you can put one of each of these guys in. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking the other day, like, do I want to put <clears> more? <throat> do I need s'more more s'more small mana some reachers? Well, I'm gonna make a s'mores deck. Yeah, more black white. In artifacts. Wait, what? <laughs> what? The s'mores decks would be black, white, oh, okay, and yeah. right. <laughs> white, black, brown, like graham crackers, brown. I was just thinking the other day, do I need to put like more small mana creatures, small casting cost creatures in the deck? So maybe For your those, would, yeah. those would be two, two decent ones to put in. Now we have cards to add to Alex's old red magic. Commander deck. This is also Alex's first ever Commander deck. It is also old frame only. It has no name. I think I have a name for it. Hey, how about that? Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to call it uh, Group Mud because since it's a variation on the group hug that's uh, focused on slowing down and miring my energy oh, combat okay. with each other. Okay, okay. Get, get, keep the mud out. Get everyone okay, you got to you got to put a quicksand in there or something. Are there yeah. any? There is a mud. There's a mud card. I know this is too on the nose. Card too. I'm very I'm very on the nose. You say the word mud. I'm like, is there a card with the word mud in it? Say, <laughs> put that in. The <laughs> <laughs> Steve, you could be a little more subtle. Pick some dirt cards and some water cards. Mud hole, Alex. It's one red, so it's only one <laughs> colorless. One <laughs> red. Sucks. It's a, a dwarf stuck in a mud hole. Instant target player removes all land cards in his or her graveyard from the game. Wah, wah. Yeah, no thanks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very <laughs> underwhelming. That's a rare from Odyssey, by the way. God, yeah. why? Don't know. You know, when we start playing modern cards and I'm playing my Crucible of Worlds, I'm going to be really pissed when you sideboard in your mud hole. Alex is deck. Alex <clears throat> is no longer named. Alex, this is the you segment. You should call it mud hole. <laughs> this is the segment of the podcast where I try to remember how to change the name. Oh, that was easy. Group mud. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, mud Alex. Hole. I like mud hole. <laughs> Begin the fifteen to eighteen minute long uh, review of your commander deck. No, I'm ready. Oh, oh, oh God, no! I wasn't going to do that. Um, I. I wanted to make a defensive deck that makes my opponents want to keep me around or not attack me, basically, while they focus on each other. Um, I wanted to play five colors, so I picked a five-color commander, Corona False God, uh, who also has a uh, fits in with that theme because she hops around to my other people, the other people's side and maybe helps them occasionally. Um, she might change, too. There's another five-color commander that I've looked at, but we'll see. This week, I'm going to add... Uh, a few, we talked a little bit about fog light cards and, uh, you know, spells that stop combat damage. So I'm just going to add a, a couple of them. Um, yes, we did. I had a whole segment where I presented some fog spells for your consideration. 
My only question is, and maybe you can help me with this, is how many of these do I want in my deck? You've had some time to consider this. Right now, spells. I can add four. You've chosen your four favorite yeah. fog spells after deep consideration. Yeah. I you think I'm definitely want... going to add fog because green's my primary color. Let's go with that. Yeah. Start there. You want to add at least two fog spells today, Alex. It's a hundred card deck. How many fog spells do you think you want to play each game? I think you add three of the four at three? least. Okay. All right. Switch printing to revised? Sure. I'm going to have to go buy a unlimited fog now or something. Beta fog. What, do you have a revised fog already? I'm sure you do, right? Yeah, I'm revised okay. fog. Um, I'm going to go with darkness because it is a black fog. So here's where I hit my, my speed bump then. I think I'm going to go with, um, uh, what's uh, Battle battle Hanukkah Jesus? Um, constant uh, Miss. Uh, huh? I thought you were going to say Constant Miss. That's not Battle Harmonica Jesus. I don't know who Battle Harmonica Jesus is. He's the one is from it... Legends. Holy Day. Holy Day is what I meant. Okay. We have two old border options. Oh, we're going with uh, Hanukkah Battle Jesus. Yeah, I can't not go with the Legends. Okay, I get the Hanukkah Battle Jesus now. And so, uh, not the right number of candles, though. No, no. Does that bring us to the end of the Old Man Magic Commander yeah, Corner for yeah, the day? I think okay. we did it. 